Warning, this video may contain language or subjects you may find upsetting. If you are one of these people, I advise you not to watch. If you choose to watch this video, you have been warned. Hello everyone and welcome again to Studio Ippy, it's a gaming channel trying to put some fun back into gaming and hopefully third time's fucking charm, computer keeps crashing. <laughs> so, right, so I've got an update for you today, 1.20 and we'll talk about the roadmap. I do appreciate most of you probably have, have a look at what's going on with the roadmap but I just want to briefly go over it and give you what I, give my opinion on it. So. There's a hot fix today, like I said, the 1.20. There was a vehicle nerf. I can't remember which one it was, so I do apologise. It was the ATAT TR, I think. But the main thing was for squads. So, three changes. Well, two changes. I think one stays the same. So, there was a problem when you were trying to respawn in. It would say people are available, but they were in vehicles. I've experienced that and that was a bit of a pain in the ass so hopefully that will stop now what they'll do they'll keep it covered so you can't actually join them as a hero or a villain if you uh, try to respawn in after like you've counted down and all that sort of stuff you won't be allowed I think that's due to people spawning with heroes and villains onto like uh, objectives and like just wiping out the objective so Bit of a nerf there for that, but as a squad member, you can join the, the bloody uh, the hero like. So yeah, not too bad. Quick enough. I like that. That's not too bad. It can take months normally. So yeah, Monday there was the roadmap, which basically, if you don't know, is the DLC which is coming up over the next few months. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk about that. What I think about it and all that sort of stuff. So it's the Geonosis map. In other words, that's what the main battle is. So the updates are starting this month with uh, October, which is Grievous. Uh, so we're getting the, cat, the villain Grievous, and we're getting the skin for him. It's meant to be like a battle-hardened one. Uh, some game improvements, new cards for heroes and that. I think more to do with health regeneration and that sort of stuff. I think that's more to do with Grievous is pretty duty. So obviously, yeah, they want they don't want to make him OP too much. OP's overpowered if you don't. Know. <laughs> People look at me sometimes when I say stuff. I forget. Right. So moving on to next month, we've got November. We've got Obi Wan. Uh, with uh, a skin coming with that, I think that is when he's the general, is it? I can't remember. Uh, vehicles, there's some uh, from the clone era vehicles. Uh, it's like the tank that walks with the beam weapon and, and probably a few other bits and bobs. Weren't much detail, they wrote them down, but I, I don't have a fucking clue what they're on about. But yeah, definitely some vehicles coming next month and the Geonosis map. Okay, you're probably going, I come it's got Starfighter on. I haven't seen anything mentioned for that. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed about that, but I'll go on about that later. So, moving on, the next, we'll probably have some updates and fixes between them, obviously, to nerf and balance everything out. But, the next one is January. We've got Count Dooku and some skins. That's it. There you go, that's January. Then February, fucking February, yes, February. Anakin Skywalker and a skin, but there's also a couple of new modes coming. There's one called Cap uh, Capture Point, which doesn't look too bad actually. What I mean by that is it's going to be like uh, domination, isn't it? And have a get uh, like battlefield and that. So hopefully, there might be more changes coming to the squad system, which I think there is. So we can actually pick positions and that, give orders. But that, if that happens, I'll make it even better. But so far away. And uh, capital ship takedown, so I think that's boarding a ship and trying to obviously take it down in it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, on all, a little disappointed, but that's more to do with the time scale, to be honest. If that was one update or that was October, uh, November, December, I, I'd be quite happy with that, but it's not, it's spread over like five month periods, you know what I mean? So, so there's only be about six months left on the life cycle of it, then, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah let, get back. Tell me what you think. 
a few other people are like, yeah. I know they haven't really bigged it up and that sort of stuff, but I thought I thought it'd be all right. So battle wise, I've no no mention of Ahsoka, so that says to me it's probably more the Attack of the Clones one because you can't interact with the Geon Oceans or anything like that. So uh, we'll see. A bit nerdy bit there. So uh, we'll, we'll see about that. So, but all in all, it's not too bad. Like I said, the reason I got Starfire on it, no maps mentioned at all. I think there's like five maps. And it's a fucking disappointing, actually. You know what I mean? This has been one of my favourite modes. The other one's improved. So I have been playing that a lot more. But this is the one I've really put the time into. I'm like 26 on the Interceptor, 26 on the Starfighter. And I, I really I don't like using the hero ships. Most of them suck. But I do in this. Uh, it will run a bit longer than me droning on. Uh, yeah, if, uh, honestly, watch it. It's, it, it. it's a good game mode. Uh, when your eyes in, it's not too bad. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, really. Nothing really. I reckon Grievous might be next week. The reason I say that is because obviously Cod's out on fucking Friday. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what them cards do, where it's makes using the heroes much I, I've never played it I've tried it me and my nephew tried it a couple of times and it's, yeah, it's alright it's alright I prefer the big major battles and that sort of stuff so uh, yeah uh, I'd like to welcome a couple of subs it's always nice to welcome a couple of subs uh, I normally do COD videos and stuff like that but the update this week the holiday scam I mean scream it's just Three weapons and a couple of melee weapons and some fucking skins. I was like, no new game modes, nothing like that. So yeah, whatever, whatever. So, but I will play it because it's probably going to be the last week I play it. Actually, I'll I'll get off the pro and I ain't going to even put it on my old station. So I like can play it if I really want to. So uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll jump on the weekend, do a stream. Uh, I might I hopefully do this. Maybe do something else. But yeah, definitely next week will be some COD stuff, obviously leading up to, to Ops. <sighs> Probably be my last COD, unless they change the engine. I, unless it's, they say, right, this year we've rebuilt it up from the ground. I, I, no. Battle Royale, not really my thing, but I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Blackout a go. Zombies, yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. I quite... I haven't enjoyed the ones recently. The last one I really enjoyed was Infinite Warfare, and that's because you can slide out of the way. And this is more like that. So hopefully I might enjoy it. And obviously the multiplayer. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm in a community, so hopefully I can get people to play with. And that's what that's what it's all about. So that's what most of these games are now. You get in, join, you get your mates in, and you jump in as a four, and you. you it's terror. All it takes. It's mad. These games. All it takes is a few people work together, and they just annihilate everyone. It's really, really mad. So uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you all later. And uh, yeah, peace out.
tests my devotion, tests my resolve. I fight for whoever pays. 